Greetings, gentlemen. As you may or may not know, you are here to receive the last will and testament of a Mr. P. C. Dyer, commonly known as Mr. Dyer. Hey, man, how come we're reading his will now? Didn't Mr. Dyer die like, uh, 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 one year, four months, and some odd days ago? Yes, but Mr. Dyer specifically requested that this happen in his written will. It says, and I quote, Those damned freeloaders lived off of me for 15 years without paying a dime of rent. They can afford to wait at least this long. That dirty double-crosser, after we gave the best years of our life to him. Hey, Sonny, just what are you doing over there anyhow? I'm getting a new hairstyle. It'll help me to be more aerodynamic in a fight. Now that we are done with the preliminaries, I will begin Mr. Dyer's video will. Hello. I am Mr. Dyer, founder of Dyer Central. Typical. If you are watching this video, then either I am dead or you are a nosy creep snooping around where he doesn't belong. For those of you in the second category, I will give you a moment to commit Harry Carey in order to save face for the atrocity you've just perpetrated. Now, for the rest of you, as you probably know, I am the sole owner of Dire Central, and as per the event of my death, I have decided to give ownership of the channel to the people that perform for it. Yay! What you probably didn't know is that back when I was setting all this up, I decided to make a small investment in order to give myself some pocket money. So, I also founded an oil refinery. That refinery has allowed me to amass a fortune of 1.4 quadrillion dollars. I had the whole thing represented in a large quantity of gold and precious metals. Also, because I merely collected on this money without spending any of it, I am single-handedly responsible for the worldwide financial crisis. Now, I suppose you want to know where the money is, huh? Yes! Do you really want to know? Yes, yes! Well, too bad, suckers. I hid it all on the remote island nation of New Zealand. You'll never find it in a million years! You don't get any money. You don't get any money. You don't get any money. You well, that's my money. son for you. you Always stubborn. Money. I don't know where he gets it from. You don't get any money. Hey, OMD, can I have some of your Cheetos? No, they're mine. But you're lactose intolerant. You can't even eat them. I don't care. They're my Cheetos, and I'm gonna eat them. You don't get any money. 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 You don't- And the tape goes on like that for another 28 minutes. Hey guys, we're in New Zealand! Yeah, and if we follow some clues, I'm sure we'll find the treasure. Wake up, old man! Hell! Oh, you dirty rotten! There's no time for that. We gotta find out where he hid the loot! Where should we look, fellas? Shut up, I'm thinking. Hey, leave him alone. Oh, a wise guy, eh? See this? Oh, come on, guys, we have to figure out where Mr. Dyer hit the treasure. All right, you go check out some local hotels, you go investigate some merchandising venues, and I'll go to the bank. Who put you in charge? Ben Dover. Who's that? Our boss, he's right down there. Get out of here. This parody is very taxing on our special effects budget. Uh, 
Well. I'm right here. Service. Service. I, I know, I just really like ringing this bell. Service. 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 Ow! Ow! Ah. So what can I help you with, sir? I'm looking for a guy named Mr. Dyer. He's this weirdo who always wears a black hoodie. Does he also speak in a monotone voice and seems obsessed with fulfilling his own ego? Yeah, have you seen him? Nope. Oh, I see. Would this copy of Star Wars Episode Four change your mind? Wow. It contains both the special edition and the original movie. Both Han and Greedo shot first. So, was he here? Yeah. He stayed in one of the cheapskate rooms out back. Did he leave anything? Other than the smell of burritos and shame? Not that I know of. Damn. I better see how the others are doing. Hey, you know, you look a lot like this guy I know called Sako. Racist. Hey, OMD, did you find out anything? Well, the bank says they handled his fortune at one point, but he made a massive withdrawal a long time ago. How is it at your end? Well, I found the hotel he stayed in, but that was a bust, too. Ah, dang, damn it. Well, let's go find Hippie. Hopefully he's made a discovery. Henry, what are you doing? Did you find Mr. Dyer's valuables? I did, man, I did. But it wasn't at the strip club. It wasn't at all those bars I went to. It wasn't with Big Harry at the 24-hour laundromat. It wasn't at Denny's. Are you telling me that you just went around and got high instead of searching for the treasure? Dang it, hippie. Why do you always have to be such a, uh, uh, a socialist? Don't hate on me too much, dude. You'll kill the buzz. Here, this guy gave me 40 bucks to look after his stash. Yeah, money. Wow, twenty dollars. I'm gonna put this right and wait, Dyer. Well, where was that hotel? Um, right off Fourth Street. Well, well, come on, let's go. Why? I know where he hid the treasure. He hid it where every white-blooded American male hides their valuables. Under his mattress. Finally, now Mr. Dyer's fortune is mine! All mine! Yours? I was the one that found this hotel. But I was the one who figured out where it was. Because of some money I gave you. I think you're all forgetting but that I this is you my hotel. Hotel. It's 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 money. Money. Is this is my hotel. If I might say so, sir, it is an honor to bask in your presence. But. Why are you here? Mr. Dyer's treasure? He's right, guys. That's 1.4 quadrillion dollars there. Imagine all the good it could do. But I want my money! <laughs> oh, so true. Mr. President, I want you to have the treasure. Me too! Yeah. Well... Well... 
Okay, the treasure is yours. Taking some of it, like for a bus fare or something. The best things in life are.